Hello Libras! So this is your weekly reading. I'm going to start with the tarot. Libras, this is the current energy between Libras and the person that's on Libra line for April the 6th to 13th, Nine of Pentacles. So something is slowly coming through. Okay, I feel like this is a manifestation in the universe. The person that's on Libra mind, I would like to say to Libra, Will of Fortune. Yeah, this is a manifestation. It was divine timing, basically. <laughs> so something that you wanted to happen is happening for you guys. Okay. Um, so what they would like to say is that things are changing. They may feel like you are a breath of fresh air if this is a newer person. Um, you see what else I'm getting. Universe, the person that's on Libra mind, or are they keeping hidden from Libra? The card. Oh, I thought I got the card. <laughs> Universe person that's on Libra mind. Universe person that's on Libra mind. Why are they keeping hidden from Libra? Three of Swords. Okay. So three of Swords can represent like they have another person or they are still struggling with um, pain. So I will clarify. Let's see what else I'm getting. Universe person that's on Libra mind. How do they feel about Libra? Temperance king of wands imprints okay so with this person this is someone who do see your worth they know who you are we got the imprints okay that's venetian energy venetian is all about values so this person do know your worth okay um but with the empress and the king of wands they might feel like you're kind of out of their league they may also feel like you know you can do better than them as well like like so it's like they like to self-sabotage on purpose. Universe, the person that's on Libra mind, what is their true feelings for Libra? Six of wands and a page of cups. They know that this relationship can work, but it's like it's more so their self-sabotaging ways that is getting the best out of this connection. Universe, the person that's on Sagittarius, as a Sagittarius, could be a Sag. Universe, the person that's on Libra mind, what is their intentions with Libra? ace of pentacles okay so i feel like what's going on is like they having a wake-up call they're not like now they're realizing like damn like i know libra value she doesn't she or he doesn't deserve to be treated that way okay and i know this is self-sabotage let me go correct it and let me go fix it that's how they're thinking okay universe the person that's on libra mind what actions will libra Universe, the person that's on Libra mind, what actions will they take with Libra? Universe, the person that's on Libra mind, five of swords, though. Oh, oh, Lord. <laughs> uh, it's the bottom positions. <laughs> it's the bottom position that's, like, not too good. So, it's like they're aware of their problem. They're aware of their problem, but it's like... This time, this week, I do see them being more self-aware and more um, serious. It just I don't like that card the for the actions of the five of swords because this is about playing games. So let me clarify. Universe clarify the ace of pentacles. I mean universe clarify the five of swords. Universe clarify the five of swords. Universe clarify the five of swords. Ace of cups. Okay. Universe clarify ace of cups two once. Yeah. So let's see universe clarify two once. Okay, that's good. Okay. So the five of swords is more so knowing of how they was playing themselves. Them trying to play you um, was only backfiring on them. So I feel like right now is like they want to really like out, like really grow and evolve, um, be that change so this relationship can continue. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. This is someone who feel like you could do way much better. Okay, they have insecurities, and that's why they behave the way that they do because it's like more so like learning. It's more so leading to um, self sabotage. Okay, because they feel like they don't deserve you because of insecurity. So it's being manifested by their actions by doing dumb stuff, basically. Okay, but I do see this week they are going to be more self-aware, and I do see they are going to change whatever that was hindering this relationship. Okay, um, this person sign could be a Sagittarius. Um, there, it could be a Capricorn, a Leo, a Pisces. Okay, 
or a Gemini. Universe, we have four cards, but I don't know if you have four. Universe, we have four cards, but I don't know if you have four. Leap from Taurus. Hangman. Rest and rejuvenate. And a tower. Stay focused and remember where I started. So, yeah, this is um, having this epiphany with that tower in this position here. And the Taurus. So, another Empress reference. So, we got to deal with Taurus. But I feel like Taurus season. I see they are going to make like a full, not full 360, but I feel like they are going to show you some, some areas they have changed, okay, that they've been looking deep within themselves, okay, that's what I'm saying. It could be this week, but some of you guys, it might be Taurus season because that Taurus card, the Taurus reference keep on um, showing through, keep on showing through. So let's see what else I'm getting. So universe, give me a three card spider. Let's just see how far they from. So there's loneliness, grief. Universe, give me one more card, happiness and abundance. Yeah. <laughs> they know dealing with other people was not going to make them be fulfilled. Okay. And they know that they have to fulfill themselves first. Um and then love will find it's love will find them. So I feel like right now. Since the breakup, if you guys have broken up with them, they have been working on themselves. I do see that. So I might name it that. They've been working on themselves. Um, they're realizing like it was really more so of insecurity, self-sabotaging, and they're willing to work on themselves, okay, with that happiness and abundance. Because again, this person knows your value, they know your worth. I guess look at what they like to say. A universe can be a safe house for the person that's only from my own, like to say to leave from grief, pride. Universe can be on my card, acceptance, and empathy. Yeah, so what they would like to say is that, yeah, they accepted that it was their fault. It was more so choosing ego, but I would say their ego is not even healthy. It's not a healthy ego. It's more so like, a, like insecurity, okay, that's trying to mask as like, as a player energy, but not really. It's more so in insecurity, okay? Um, but I do see them, they're gonna be more transparent about that, okay? I see they're gonna be more emotionally open with what was going on with them during that time. Universe, give me a four card spread. Let's just see how for Libra. Disconnect and boredom, material and spiritual prosperity and awareness. Yep, they're becoming more aware. <laughs> Look at that. Becoming more aware of themselves, their lower self, the devil, and the heart chakra, but it's opened them up. Wow. So everything happened for a reason. Whatever that had to transpire. It's really for the highest good of both you guys. I feel like you guys do have a spiritual connection. It doesn't mean that you guys are supposed to be together forever. It just means that, yeah, you guys had a, have a spiritual connection both to teach each other. I feel like you are teaching them, okay? Um, so that's good that they're becoming more self-aware. Universe, give me a four card spread. I'm going to see you have four. Libra. So there's Queen. There's Child Wounded. 
there is judge and companion and bully. You ever discover a bully? Martyr. Yeah, so the bully and a martyr, it, it's giving me narcissist and empath um, paradigm, basically. It's giving me that type of energy. So this person probably thought you will always be there for them, but you, I feel like you guys are changing things up too. So because of you changing things up, it's making them look at things in a different manner and looking deep within. And I feel like they're getting an epiphany. They are waking up. They're realizing what's been really holding them back. And that's changing them. So even if you do not want to be with them, I feel like this connection did serve its purpose. Now, if you do want to be with them, I would say this person is starting to wake up. I want to say they completely have changed, but they are starting to wake up. And that's a good thing, okay? Let's look here. All right, universe, give me a four card spread. I must just see how four Libra. So there is their more information. Choose any direction. It's up to you. A year from now, an opportunity. Yeah, so. Yeah, so some of you guys are just going to probably disconnect for them, okay? Um, however, I feel like through this disconnect, it's going to help both of you guys grow. Uh, and then some of you guys are going to give them another chance, okay? Um, probably in the future, probably not right now because they're just starting to wake up, okay? So it's like they have to realign themselves to behaviors that's going to be beneficial to them and not be maladaptive, okay? So that's going to take some time. Um, they got to fix their programming basically. Okay. But I do see like you have this option. You have this decision to make basically of like, if you want to continue, um, this connection with them or you want to break free. But I feel like even if you break free, it, it serves its purpose. Okay. Like it, it happened for a reason, basically. So universe, give me a three card spread. Universe, give me one more card. Universe, give me one more card. Universe, give me one more card. Uniquely myself, my um, my creative power, and general energy is following my truth. Okay. So with that fearless self-love is you changing things up. They having this awakening, okay? And if you, again, if you part ways with them, I feel like you're still going to be in a, in a higher position. I feel like they're going to be growing too as well. So it's like a win-win outcome either way. If you reconnect with them, if you don't reconnect with them. If you are going to reconnect with them, it's trying to say kind of a wait until they actually is showing you um, that they are consistent of this new them, okay? So, so follow my truth. Believing in and follow my inner truth helps me live an authentic and empowered life. And then there's fearless of love. Um, whenever I choose to love myself, um, no matter the circumstances surrounding me, I'm practicing fearlessness. And then there is inner guidance system. The best answers always come from the calm, radiant place within me. I wait for these with joy. And then there is my creative power as I invest in my own. Um, creative potential. I experienced my female creative genius. And uniquely myself, I trust that who I am is perfect for my unique journey and soul's path. So that's the reading that I have for you, Libras. Thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing. If this video resonates, you can definitely book a person with me at queenfortheterrell at gmail.com.